average smallholder farmer will be that farmer who walks in daily to get what they need for the day. They don't have enough to stock for the next day or the next one week. <laughs> Harvesting is Kumawiki, and uh, I'm harvesting the good ones which have no any spot. They are very good in vitamin, they are also eaten by um, also animals and also people, and now everything is very nice with them. Today is an opportunity for us to be able to share with you some of the learnings uh, from Virginia's farm where we are today on how to improve your management of cattle as well as agriculture and farming. We're lucky to have two of our technicians joining us. One of them is an agronomist, the other one is a veterinarian. Majority of farming in Kenya is still very much done by smallholders. Unfortunately, these farmers, 70 odd percent of the population in Kenya, are trapped in a situation where the most critical input they require to graduate out of poverty they're having to buy from the informal market. So we've tried to figure out a way in which we can build a business that will deal with the last mile distribution challenge of uh, agricultural inputs. If I were to sum it up, I would say the farm shop brand is a, a partner in their prosperity. want to uh, know something that can make uh, their farming profitable. How best they can gather all these resources if they have the right inputs. How good can they use them? One of the biggest problems that farmers have is actually uh, trying to identify the right seed and also identifying the common uh, pests and diseases in their farm. One of the most important things in terms of bridging this last mile is to establish small village level agricultural input shops. We're trying to take these shops as close to the farms as we possibly can. In most cases, our shops are serving a five kilometer radius of farmers around them. So this is very much a local relationship between the small farms and the village level shop that we're trying to establish. women is definitely increasing in agriculture in many ways and the burden is shifting onto them as well. Our response has been by ensuring that the shops are located closer to the women's homestead, that they are the ones who are able to come in and participate, buy the inputs and receive the training directly. We're also making a more of a concerted effort to ensure that our trainings are conducted at times that are more convenient for the women so that they can easily attend them while balancing their other responsibilities as well. And then finally, I think one of the most important investments we've made is in ensuring that we have more women franchisees and especially shop assistants. For new products, we've categorized them into two. That is, there is the category expansion, what we currently carry, then we can expand that. And then there's the absolutely new products. So currently for the new products that we're looking into, we have the day-old chicks. What we want to do by introducing the day-old chicks is be the one-stop shop. You get the chicks, you get the vaccines, the feeds, the drugs. 
and all. I think Farm Shop has now demonstrated both its social impact as well as its commercial viability. By establishing these farm shops, we're creating a bit of an upward spiral where everybody is beginning to improve their overall interface with the farmers as well.